Hi, I'm Christina Latimer. This is Pamela Gulcher. We are with the University of North Texas Science Education Research Lab. And today we are out at Leela with the Upper Trinity Regional Water District. And we are here to talk about stream health. And we're gonna do that by using a leaf pack. We look forward to uh, showing you what we've got going on out here. We are out here today at the Louisville Lake Environmental Learning Area, or Leela, and I'm here with Drayden and Kylie. We're sitting by this stream, and we want to study stream health. So what we're going to do today is we're going to study stream health using a leaf pack. So leaf packs can be found in streams where you see big buildups of leaves. Today, though, we want to make one. We're going to make a leaf pack using some of these materials. We're going to leave it in the stream for a few days, maybe a week, and then we're going to come back and pull that leaf pack out and see what we find inside. I'm pretty excited. Are you all excited about this? Yes. Excellent. So we look forward to you following along, following in your lesson plan, and seeing how this process works. All right, using the materials you saw on the screen before, we have a bucket of leaves here that we collected from around the stream. It's important they're from the same area where the insects would normally get their stream. And we also have a produce bag. And what you see us doing here is cutting off the label for better water flow so that those macroinvertebrates can colonize those leaves. And then last, you see Dre putting those leaves in the bag so that the bag is nice and full of leaves. Once the leaves are in the bag, you're gonna use your long piece of nylon string to tie off the bag so nothing gets out of there. And make sure that you do leave a long enough piece that you can tie it to a rock or a stick sticking out over the string. Now that your leaf pack is tied off and ready to go in the stream, find a place in the stream that's safe to access. Look around at the wildlife and make sure you're not disturbing any other um, animals or anything like that. And you're going to tie your leaf pack onto, as you see me doing here, a stick or a rock. And then what you wanna make sure you do is put a sign or something nearby so people know that it's not litter in the stream, that it is a science experiment in progress. We are back out at Leela and we are really excited because about a week ago we put our leaf pack in this stream right beside us and today what we're going to do is pull the leaf pack out of the water and we're going to open it up and see what kinds of organisms we can find inside. We're really hoping for some uh, very tolerant and intolerant organisms so that we can see a wide range of biodiversity and see what this stream health is really like. Are you all ready? Yes. All right, when you're ready to get your leaf pack, um, make sure you have a bucket, something to put that in with some extra stream water inside. And make sure you remove all the contents, put your leaf pack in the water, and make sure you remove your sign in the string so we don't leave any trash behind at the site. Now you're ready to open your leaf pack, find a nice spot where you can set out your trays or bowls, make sure your tray and your bowl have some of the creek water in them, and then carefully open up your pack and start going through those leaves. You wanna make sure as you do this that you use spoons, paint brushes, or soft forceps as you see us using because these macroinvertebrates are fragile and we want to make sure we're not harming any of them. As you find different organisms within your leaf pack, you're going to want to ID those organisms using the ID page from your lesson book or some of the um, references we've provided in your lesson plan. And you wanna log how many different kinds of species you find. For example, we found one intolerant species, we found one mayfly, we found a lot of semi-tolerant species like dragonflies and craneflies, and we found quite a few of those tolerant species like the midgeflies. So would you look through, make sure you're keeping track of how many of each you find so that you can determine stream health by using those uh, bio indicators. 
Once you have logged all of your macro invertebrates, make sure everything's back in that bucket with the creek water and you wanna return the leaf pack, return the insects back to the stream, a little bit upstream from where you pulled them out so that they have a chance to recolonize that area.